Welcome, collectors. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing yet another Diecast Masters Transport Series model. In this case, it's the 150th scale Kenworth T880 set forward front axle tandem axle with pusher axle ox body stampede dump truck. I know, a bit of a mouthful, but trust me, if you give me the next eight or nine minutes of your time, I promise we're going to get through it together. Now, this is the third of three initial releases in the Ox Stampede 150th scale dump truck series by Diecast Masters. By now, hopefully you've seen my review on the International and the Peterbilt. Now this video will be taking a look at the Kenworth. Later on this year, Diecast Masters plans to release two more dump trucks in this series. There will be a Western Star with the Ox Body Dump, and then there will also be a Caterpillar CT660 with the Ox Body's Dump, bringing the number to five in this series. So if you're new and you've perhaps never seen a Diecast Masters Transport Series model, they all come in this brown outer shipping box, which has the outer number 71078 in this case. You open up one side. That allows you to get the actual model's box out safely, which looks a whole lot like this in this case. And the model has a blue cab and kind of a silver or chrome dump box in this case. Here's your description once again. 71078 for reference. The Kenworth badge at the top left, as always, 150th scale. Now, the Kenworth trucks have a red background, which matches the red of the Kenworth name. And on the back, you have two pictures depicting some of the working features on the model. And then underneath that, you have some features of the real-life Kenworth T880, such as the fact that it has a Packard MX-13 engine, which depending on configuration has anywhere from 405 to 510 brake horsepower. On the other side, you can see some details about the ox body dump, including the fact that it is an elliptical dump body design with lengths of 10 to 21 feet, a width of 85 to 96, side heights of 36 to 72, and capacities of 6 to 31 cubic yards. So with our minds filled with information... Turn to the side of the box with the finger hole. Put your finger in the hole. First thing out of the box is the Diecast Masters Transport Series Catalog. This is always very helpful to hang on to because it shows you all the models and products in the Diecast Masters Transport Series range. I always recommend every collector, new and old, to hang on to any piece of documentation that comes with the model. Initially, you will find two sets of mud flaps that can be put on the truck, and I'll show you how those get assembled here in just a minute. And also, for the Kenworths, there are two exhaust stack tips. Finally, last thing is, of course, our model in the bottom piece of foam rubber. Carefully grab onto it and lift straight out. With the truck out of the box, we can begin the assembly process. As I said before, with the Kenworths, they have exhaust stacks on both sides of the truck, so you need to put the tips on both sides. They go in these predetermined or predesignated holes. They simply just drop in. So the left side one goes there, and the right side one goes there. Next thing you need to decide is what kind of mud flap you want to put on the truck. So there's the Kenworth one, and here's the Ox body one. Let's go ahead and put the Kenworth one on. And to do that, there are two designated holes right here and right here, which again might be a little bit hard to see on camera. There you can see them a little bit better. That's where the mud flaps go in, so let's quickly put those in right now. All right, and with your mud flaps on, we are ready to begin the model review. The assembly process, as I said, is very straightforward. Besides the exhaust stack tips and the mud flaps, that's really all you have to do. Beginning with the detail aspect of the truck, as we've seen with pretty much every single Ox Body Dump truck, there is a whole lot of chrome detailing aspect on these trucks, including the Kenworth grill. But there's also, and it's a little bit harder to see on camera, but if you look really close on the grill, there's a lot of black fine circle detailing that has been achieved with some decals on the grill. There's also a tow hitch at the front chrome bumper, chrome horns, some orange running lights, chrome visor, chrome mirrors. At the side of the truck, you have your chrome steps and tank to get in, a blue filler cap 
for one of the tanks. You have your T880 logo right here at the bottom portion of the door, which is very fine, but you can see it in person. Uh, again, there's a light right here, DOT striping all along the dump box, Ox Body logo up on here, which we've seen before on all of the Ox Body dump trucks. At the back, same thing, Ox Body decal centered at the very top. So your lights up here with red, orange, and then white. Same thing over here. Two red ones down here are your lights. And then a tow hitch for a tag trailer if you wish to put them on. And once again, here are the Kenworth rubber mud flaps that we assembled just a minute ago. The other side of the truck, again, much the same. Chrome exhaust. And the exhaust stacks on here, it's easy to miss, but there's a whole lot of impressive detail, including those black indentations on the actual exhaust stack tip, which if you run your pointer or finger over it, you'll notice it. Same thing here, ox bodies. And that brings us back to the front where we started with the Kenworth badge centered on the grill, as well as the ox body logo at the top portion of the spill guard, which covers the cab. We'll now turn our attention to the functionality of the Kenworth truck. The front axle does steer, although because of the fender design, it is somewhat limited as to the angle that you can achieve. But again, something is better than nothing. And I would say it's pretty variable and reasonable. Your hood does open to a pretty decent degree as well. And inside, you can see a Packar motor. Additionally, both the driver's door as well as the passenger door can be opened. So you can pose two figures inside if you wish to do that. And inside the driver's side, there's a detailed dash, which again might be hard to see, with the Peterbilt logo right on the center, or excuse me, the Kenworth logo right on the center of the steering wheel. Moving along to the back of the truck now, there is a lift axle, which right now, of course, is in the carry position. So if I move the truck, it will not be moving. But let's say you have a full load of material in the back of the dump truck. If I pull down on the axle, it will now be grounded with the rest of them and rolling. So let's clip him back out of service. All right, let's finish up with the dump bed functionality. Again, same three-stage cylinder that we've seen for years, dating back to the Norscott days on the CAT CT660. Here's our one, two, three stage cylinders, with this part being the only metal part. So the dump box goes up to a reasonable height, and the tailgate swings open to a very reasonable degree. Now... How does the truck look like when it's being loaded by a piece of Diecast Masters CAT equipment? Well, let's bring in a CAT 982M wheel loader. And as you can see here, the two make a pretty reasonable pair when posed together. How about another angle? There you go. So if you were looking for an adequately sized wheel loader, maybe a 982 might be a little bit large but even a larger wheel loader would be an adequate size to load a truck of this size. So that will conclude my review on the Diecast Masters Transport Series 1-50 scale Kenworth T880 set forward front axle with the Ox Stampede dump body on it. It bears repeating as we wrap up this trio of Ox Stampede dump bodies in the initial release. These are fantastic models any way you cut it. I absolutely love having all three of these in my collection. I think the color choices were very good with the International being red, the Peterbilt being a dark red, and this Kenworth obviously being a uh, pearlescent or a, or a metallic blue shade uh, with that flake type finish in the paint. I think it will accentuate any 150th scale collector collector's collection very, very well. And as I've said before, they are priced very reasonably. But you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you think of these trucks, what maybe you'd like to see improved on it, and maybe some other color combinations you'd like to see made in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. I'll catch you in the next review.